Hello everybody, my name is Rest of Toasty, and I am back with some more Timberborn. This time I'm gonna actually, like, uh, try to get all the way to the end of the tutorial. Of course, I'm not gonna show you all of that because that's essentially stuff we've already done, and you don't need to see me fail at it again. And we're gonna see how it goes from there. I'll come back once I have, hopefully, finished the tutorial with more than one singular beaver remaining. Uh, anyway... I will be back in a little bit. Made it! I got through the tutorial somehow, and I've made it through three cycles. Tutorial's done. We've got our forester over here to putting trees down, I think. <laughs> and then this guy is eventually going to start cutting those trees down whenever we uh, have them. I'm going to move this over here, because currently it is useless. It's for the logs, but uh, there are no logs kind of over here. Of course, we don't have any wood right now. We still have to wait for these to grow in um, many, many days. <laughs> Nine days, I think, is 75% of 12. That's ridiculous. Why is it so many? I think it'll be grown by the time the drought comes. So that should be okay, probably. The other one, yeah, see, there's no trees over here because these trees are all uh, dead. <laughs> so it's not it's not working very well um so these are all dead which means they aren't gonna grow back which means they are completely useless so what i can do okay thank you so what i can do right and i'm still not worrying about doing a damn actually i probably should you know what i'm gonna also first these are gonna go i'm gonna put these to a slightly higher priority than the rest of them just so that this area is clear, and then I'm gonna build a dam. And then people can start building this once we get wood after these grow. Yes, building does lack materials because we don't have any logs! Because all the trees were too terrible and they died when the, the drought came. Just have to wait for these to grow, I guess. That's basically all you can really do. I was thinking about putting a district center kind of out here-ish where it is a little bit barren, but then we can use uh, the irrigation tower. You can you can use that to irrigate an area of land. I don't know if it takes anything in, or I guess it uses water or something. I don't I don't know. Um, <laughs> either way, right now we just have to wait for these to grow and get harvested and get logged and etc. So I guess I'll be back when that's happened. <laughs> Yo! One tree! Dude! We have trees! This is the best! <laughs> of course, um, they're not gonna last that long. But we are gonna have a lot of trees for a little bit. Uh, we are gonna have a drought soon, though, so that's a little bit worrying. Should be fine, I think? <laughs> okay, so we get the logs, right? Then we start to build a dam. And then hopefully the drought isn't as bad. I would assume you would think a little bit. Uh, I don't think... I mean, I'm going to add two more little tanks here as well. But I don't think we need them quite yet. As it stands, they're not really huge priority. Right? Just because, like, we have more than enough. <laughs> we have so much to the point that these guys are half the time not even working. We're fine on water. But just to have some extra would be nice. They should be done with the dam soon. And presumably, that means that the water should fill up a little bit. Presumably. I don't actually know if that's the case or not. <laughs> of course, uh, that's not really going to matter right now. Because we are losing all of our water like instantaneously. So that's fun. Um, uh, hopefully... These trees that have grown already should be able to uh, get us all the wood that we need to build that dam. But to be honest, probably not. They each need 20 logs, and each of these gives 2 logs, and I can see that there is less than 80 trees there. <laughs> you need 80 trees for that? Seriously? Uh, they're out of water, I just noticed. Um, I thought we would be okay, but I guess there's... Yeah, no, there's 50 of them now instead of uh, not 50 of them. Okay, I think this one's uh, screwed a little bit too. They have to last like a full extra day without water. Okay, just last uh, another half a day-ish, okay? It's four hours. You'll be fine. 
You can make it, I promise. I believe in you. Water? Speed up or I will be uh, angry at you. <laughs> okay, so more water towers is more essential than I thought it was. Okay, I think we should be fine. It looks like that's going to make it at least so that a few people can survive, which is okay because if a few people survive, then they make uh, more babies and it's fine. Okay, it's fine. Some people can drink, and presumably that means that some people can get their water, right? And then some people will not die. And then even if some people do die, then it's fine, because there's still other people. <laughs> okay, everybody is still um, dehydrated <laughs> by a lot, uh, but it's fine, right? We've almost built the dam, which should be good for our water situation. Hopefully, I don't, I don't really know how that works, to be honest. I think it'll drop to here, maybe, and then we won't have any power up here, but we- oh, someone died of thirst, but we will still have water over here. This is not looking good for reasons I don't understand. I don't know how it got to this point, but this is looking, like, very bad. Although, we do have these guys grabbing the berries, so I might, since that is free of resource, I might just go ahead and put down two more of those, especially since we have 26 people unemployed. Berries, food, at least some people, just like, just a few people, as long as a few people don't die, I'm perfectly okay with this situation, <laughs> which is uh, probably not a good thing to say, but I don't care. Okay, we have our dam thing built, so then we should be getting a little bit more wood, how much do you hold? 13 planks. This holds 180. So I'm actually going to demolish this one and then make one smaller because I don't want too many of my logs being turned into planks. Oh, we have lost quite a few people. It's fine. We still have actually quite a few left over, right? But having less people means less mouths to feed. Yeah, we're not... We're not doing so hot right now. You're not supposed to see all those, uh, all those circles above their heads. Especially if there's two of them. Because <laughs> they're starving and un not drinking anything. English words. I'm gonna see if I can get past this. Get back to self-sufficiency. And then we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes from there. Uh... <laughs> okay, so the drought started. And right here you can see we do have, we do still have water. Presumably, I would assume that's going to go down as we're pumping it. We did actually end up losing a lot of beavers. We dropped from like 50-something down to 30-ish. Uh, <laughs> the dam does seem to have worked. We could put another one up here, but I don't think it would flow, so there wouldn't be much of a point. We're, we're just... It's just those few, those few trees out there. It's not that big a deal. Most of this is just fine. So we have gotten over the problem of the drought now, which is really nice because we no longer have to worry about running out of water or food until we have way more population, which right now we don't because everybody just um, died. I don't currently understand the irrigation towers. I don't know how those work or what they do. Oh, the drought ended. That's nice, I guess. We do still have all our water down here, right? Yeah, that's pretty neat. But then this will come down whenever it decides it's going to do that. And then that fills it up even more. And then goes across there. And then goes out through the dam. Let's go. So if I could somehow build a district out here, then I could put a dam right about there. And then I should then be able to kind of keep this entire area still whatever. <laughs> Another farmhouse gets kind of this whole area, actually. So technically, we could have farms on all of this, right? Let's have some sunflower, I guess, up here. And we have a bunch of farmers now. And I think I want this whole area. Uh, I can do sunflowers up to here and then more carrots from here because carrots are better they give you more in less time but then the sunflowers help with the well-being i could also do potatoes but currently i don't know how to make that work 
So, mm, nah. And then irrigation tower. Can I make an irrigation tower up here? Because I think I can get people down, or up here from down there. Let's do that. And then we need to make a stairs and a stairs and a path going this way. And then these all get built. Stranded! Man, y'all are stupid. <laughs> they went to build it over here. Ah, oh, my goodness. Uh, so this should be watered more now, I guess, right? And then I think I can kind of get this area irrigated or build the irrigation towers out here and then build a district center, probably. I would, I would hope, think. And then we can probably do something over here, I guess. Like we could maybe do a larger tree section over here. If I go ahead and put down a district center back here, possibly. How do I get people here? I think I can move people from this district to this one over here. I'm pretty sure. And I can go ahead and build paths. It is getting somewhat far apart, though. See, this one is 65 away from the, the center, which means I should move this. And I don't know why I put it there in the first place. <laughs> should put it closer to the middle, like, say, here. So those are all connected then, right? Can I do a migration so I can move, like, those people over there? And then, what does this do? Balances goods between the two connected districts. So, what if uh, you guys come back over here for now? We're not going to worry about the migration yet. I do, however, firstly need to get this thing built. You guys need food first. <laughs> and then, I guess once they have somebody working here, we can do more trees. So, this has been built now, right? There are four workers on this side, and then no workers on this side, because there's nobody in the district. What happened? Why is there no water? There was water just fine. Earlier, are, is there too many people? Do I need more pumps? I think I need more pumps. Okay, um, that's an issue because we don't have space for more pumps. Okay, I can put them on this side, I forgot. Um, more pumps. And I think we have enough workers for that. Should probably... Put some more tanks out here. I like how the shadows move when I move. As if I'm the sun. Okay. Uh, looks like we should be good on water now that we've more than doubled our output. Hey, where'd, our wa where'd my water go, dude? Probably used all of it. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> uh, whoops. That's not good. We have more than a day left on the drought, and no water because all of our water disappeared all of a sudden. Whoopsies. I think we should have enough food, but we definitely don't have enough water. Although it doesn't look like anybody is uh, fully dying, dying yet. Like we're just seeing a few people getting up to where they need the where they need water. So we're just gonna go ahead and pause these, and then the drought should be over now uh-huh and then the water will come back i'm not sure how exactly to get people over here the right way because i need to get this irrigated which i can't do without people and water and then i can start working on food and stuff going over there i don't know how to get this get set up and running right i don't i don't know how okay can i put down a storage thing for like the scrap metal and nothing is going to go there obviously but then if i set something up over here the scavenger flag then i should theoretically be able to set this up and do something with that i think what i want to do is set up a forester over here or a couple of foresters and a bunch of tree people basically so this will be mainly wood but then there'll also be this up here that'll get transported to a different district that does all that metal stuff, possibly out here in this little wasteland. I might set up another district down here somewhere with just a bunch of pumps, since this is such a large area, and put like a, a dam down here, or uh, just block the water from leaving or something like that. Okay, so they have houses now. 
And they should be able to build those. But then in this area, I want to do the trees. So this six here-ish. And I go ahead and put these trees down. I'm going to do oak because that's going to take a little bit to get set up. But it should be... It sh I think it's a higher return. Okay. I have my other district going, kind of. Uh, the issue is there's not enough people over here. There's only three, so we're not really uh, doing anything with the trees, and I think um, they're about to die, uh, which is not good, obviously. But we also don't have that much water, so I don't know how that works with these. And currently, I don't know that we have enough people over here that aren't children because uh, they die too fast, and they're not having enough children. It's a little bit annoying and i think i the best thing to do would just be to make a new house right here real quick i did also start to set up another district over here what i want to do is put a levee up here so that the water stays in here right i can get a bunch more of the water pumps i think i want to move a few more people over here okay so we get more beaver people over here right there's three of them currently so if i do that so those guys should do some watering, or should do some getting rid of this stuff. So you guys should start doing that with the wood you have over there. Assuming that these don't take any planks. They don't. Of course, there's some that have already been built, obviously. <clears throat> okay, so uh, this isn't working out very well, <laughs> to be honest. We have this district, which is... Um, way low on people it's supposed to be like 60 of these <laughs> 69 open beds right now the other two districts this one that's supposed to do the water and this one that's supposed to do the wood they are both the, everybody has died and there's nobody there anymore so that's fun at this point i'm just gonna end the episode hope that we get some people in this in this district enough people to move over to this district and then eventually to this district because right now, uh, everybody's dying. I really need to work on the amount of water that's getting... I think the biggest issue was that there were too many water pumps going. And we already had enough water, right? Like, there's enough water here to survive the whole drought. But then when the water goes, so does the food. And then the food all dries out and they have to make new food. And it takes four days, but everybody starves before then, right? I think that is the biggest issue currently with what is happening right now <laughs> so i do have to work on that and then i think we uh should eventually get some people over here and finish this secondary dam i changed it into a dam instead of a levee because if it was a levee then it goes all the way up on these banks and floods the water extractor things so it becomes essentially useless so there's no point in doing it that way and i don't uh, want to do it that way I'm going to use the dams instead because we know that works up here and we'll have much more water down here to be used by these extractors so it shouldn't be as much of an issue when they run out. So I'll just keep an eye on them for a little bit and hopefully we can get past this, this issue and hopefully I can get them to a point where they are fully self-sufficient and I don't have to worry about them dying out of nowhere for no reason. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode of a lot, a lot of mistakes and a considerable amount of death. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe for more, hopefully more stable, Timberborn. Mm, goodbye.